morning, jazz fanatics. Last time we talked about a way of internalizing the sound of the bebop scale in the context of a simple John Philip Sousa march. Now I just demonstrated how most people practice the bebop scale and that's in a descending fashion from the root, third, fifth, and seventh. Now for those of you who have transcribed solos before, you probably have realized that most times the bebop scale is heard and played in a descending fashion. However, how do we normally learn scales? Up or down first? Up, I would think. What's amazing is after practicing the bebop scale down for a couple decades, it actually took me some time to familiarize myself with playing it up and be comfortable with it. One resource that I want to mention is from the late great jazz educator David Baker, who wrote a book simply called How to Play Bebop, Volume 1. After analyzing hundreds of bebop solos, he has distilled the information into a very easy to understand format as well as apply them. And if these videos have helped you, please subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Jazz Lab NY. And if you'd like the PDF of the information, please email me at jazzlabny at gmail.com. Until next time, this has been another episode of Jazz Lab NY Drive-By Jazz Lessons.